press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. My dear students, now I am entering into new concepts about light. That is, in your NCRT textbook, part 2 of second book in the first chapter, and the ninth chapter, ray optics, and the ray optics with the optical instruments. Chapter number 9 Ray Optics and Optical Instruments. Before starting that, let us have some uh, introduction about the optics. Optics are the real branch of the basic definitions are Optics and it is a branch of physics. Deals with nature, property, propagation, and the effect of light. Optics is a branch of physics which deals with the study of nature, property, propagation, and the effect of light. Light and light. Can you identify can you say what the meaning of light? Can you identify an object? Without a light. So, we have to put it in the light. We have to put it in the light. We have to put it in the light. We have to put in the which can emit light of its own. Bulb. Which can emit light of its own. We call them as luminous objects. A source of light. A source which can emit light of its own. Like bulb. Sun. We call them as luminous object. I'm not stick down like a book. Come on, come on. book, glass, wood, tree, water, air. Do they emit light? No. We call them as non-luminous objects. We call them as non-luminous objects. Source of light. You can have uh, two kinds of sources. One is luminous object and other one is non-luminous object. A source which can emit light of its own, like sun, bulb, lighted candle, we call them as luminous object. But whereas book, chakwis, air, water, here power, thunderstand and light emit madala. And the source in karitara, non objects and the karitara. Light emit not the source which can emit the light. You can sense that. You can sense the object. When a light is made to fall on an object, object get illuminated so that you will sense, so that you will say it is a board. I am a teacher. You are a student. There is a book. There is a duster. There is a TV. There is a glass. There is a water. You can identify the object. Without light, can you identify? No. Therefore, light is a source of energy which produces a sense of vision or which produces the sensation. 
light is a form of energy which produces the sense of vision. You can identify the object without light, you cannot. But there must be some range of wavelength that is 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer, which we call them as a visible region. What you have, we bugaya. If any luminous source emits light of the range 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer, violet has least wavelength, red has maximum wavelength. Any luminous source emits light of this range, when this kind of light is made to fall on an object, you will identify that. Below 400 nanometer, what you have? Ultraviolet. Beyond 750, what you have? Infrared rays cannot produce a sense. Therefore, the range you can say, range of wavelength, when made to fall on an object, you can sense that object. We call that as visible region. Therefore, light, can you define what is light? Source of energy which produce the sense of vision. Say, we have this optics divided into mainly into two branches. Two branches, you can say, of optics. One is geometrical optics. Simply sometimes we call this also as a ray optics. Branch of optics which deals with geometrical construction of the images by optical mediums. So for example when light is made to fall on a mirror, light gets reflected. There is a formation of image. When light is incident on a spherical mirror, concave or convex, there is a formation of image. It may be real image or virtual. When the same light is made to fall on a lens, lens is an optical medium, whether it is convex or concave, there is a formation of image. When it is, when you are having some optical instruments like microscope, simple microscope, reading lens, compound microscope, or telescopes, that is a formation of images, maybe real or virtual. That formation of images can be studied by considering light as a ray. That is, ray of light by considering ray of light. Ray of light means in a state which carries some information. Light is a form of energy. It is a straight line bar the other meaning and the it is some it is carrying some information, it has some energy. We represent that in the form of straight line with the arrow mark. A straight line headed with arrow mark. We call that as ray of light, which always represents the path along which the light tends to move. Energy tends to move. Say if I write A to B. You must say ray of light or light travel from A to B. Light travel from B to B. It has some energy. Light is a form of energy which we are representing in the form of a straight line headed with arrow mark. We call that as ray of light. By having the concept of ray of light, when it is made to fall on certain optical medium, there is a formation of images. How that images are constructed, we have to study. That study of formation of images, when light is made to fall through certain optical media, is known as a geometrical optics. Physical optics. We have 
Name two branches of optics. One is geometrical optics, and other one is the physical optics. This sometimes physical optics is also known as wave optics. You will study the nature, physical nature of the light. We say the study of nature of light means under this physical optics we have two sub branches you can say wave optics and quantum optics wave optics deals it is, you can say it's a branch of sub physical optics or it's a branch of optics where light is considered as a wave here light is considered as a particle like a photon and this physical optics is the branch of optics deals with the nature of light means light can behave as wave nature can behave as a particle there was a scientist called Louis D. Broglie who theoretically gave some ideas about dual nature of light. Light is dual in nature, means light can behave as wave as well as a particle. So we said propagation of light here. So when light propagates say from one medium to another with this uh, theoretical knowledge given by the de Broglie whenever light propagates during its propagation light is considered as a wave. The energy which is being transmitted is considered as a wave. But in, when it interacts with the matter, so when light falls on certain, say, photosensitive surfaces, say for example, CCM, when light is made to fall on photosensitive alkali metals, what happens? There is something called photoelectric effect. You will study in uh, coming classes. Here is, when light interact with the matter, the energy, light energy being absorbed or it is being emitted from the surface where it is incident. That absorption and the emission, absorption of light energy and the emission of light energy is considered in the form of quanta, that is particle behavior. We call that as photons. Light can be treated as a particles or packets of energy, small packets of energy known as photons. Hence, there is a quantum physics. But remember, there are some phenomena that you will learn in detail. Say, for example, interference. Diffraction. They are phenomena, and also one more uh, phenomena that we will study: polarization. These interference and diffractions; these two are modification of light energy. When two or more light waves of same kind, two waves of same kind overlaps, superimposed, at the point of superposition, there is slight modification of light energy. And that modification of light energy leads to a phenomenon of interference and diffraction. There is slight difference will be there regarding intensities and the width of the intensities that are obtained that you will study in detail. These two are Interference and diffractions are modification of light energies. Where 
at the point of overlapping of two or more light waves of same kind. There is some modification of light energy that can be explained, can be studied only by considering light as a wave. Here also polarization is also exhibited by wave nature. That is only a transverse nature. Light is a transverse in nature. In first PUC you have studied two kinds of waves depending on mode of vibration, longitudinal vibration and a transverse vibration. Sound waves are longitudinal nature, light waves are transverse in nature. Only the phenomena that is a polarization is exhibited only by the light waves because light waves are transverse in nature. That we will study in detail. So remember my dear students, but this interference and diffraction can be exhibited by both kinds, sound waves as well as light waves. Both light waves and sound waves can exhibit the phenomena of interference and diffraction, but only the polarization means alignment. You have studied in dielectrics. Simple to, to, to understand what you mean by polarized. A dipole when placed in a uniform external field, whether it is a polar or non-polar non -polar molecule, it aligns. How? Parallel to direction of applied field. We call that as polarization, alignment, restriction. Like that, this light consists of vibrate, transverse vibrations in all directions in all x, y, z directions, but when such unpolarized light, ordinary light is made to pass through certain crystals like tourmaline or calcite or quartz, the light will acquire the property of one-sidedness. Means vibrations are restricted in only one plane. That phenomena is known as polarization that is exhibited only by transverse waves. Sound waves cannot be polarized. But here, interference and diffractions, where you have, I, I said, modification of light energy that is exhibited by both sound waves, that is, best example, beats, what you have learned in first PUC, beats, and interference of light. That can be studied in detail by considering light as a wave. We have studied about the second, that is about your concentrating about the nature. In the physical optics, we talk about some nature of light. Means it can behave as wave as well as a particle. So during this particle nature, you can study the phenomena of photoelectric effect. Effect, scattering of light. Remember, to explain interference, diffraction, polarization, you need a wave concept of light. To explain these phenomena, photoelectric effect and the scattering effect of light, the effects of light, photoelectric effect of light, scattering effect of light, you all see the color of the sky appears to be blue, blue in color. That can be explained by using the concept of Rayleigh law of scattering. You will study in detail. Rayleigh law of scattering, Tyndall scattering and Raman effect. All this comes under scattering of light, effect of light and photoelectric effect as you know. Light energy is converted into electrical energy that is in case of your solar batteries. To explain these phenomena, you must need light as a particle. I think you understood some basic idea about optics, definition optics, and the main branches of optics, geometrical optics, and physical optics, and the sub branches.
ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಸಮ್ಮ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಲಿಬೇಕು ಯು ಆರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ರಿಯಲ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ray of light light means a form of energy which produces the sense of vision we represent that light as a ray of light that means as a straight line headed with arrow mark bare one straight line bardidini arrow mark hakidini careless maadbeda yena adu there is path along which light energy is being transmitted that arrow mark tells you that light energy is transferred from one point to another point a straight line headed with arrow mark nobody will ask you in the exam define ray of light but what will it throughout the chapter geometrical optics you must write a straight line with the arrow mark no arrow mark you will lose some marks without arrow mark no value at all in geometrical optics remember i am telling you at the beginning what it says direction along which light energy propagates i am repeating just a straight line what does it mean you must say that it is some energy that is being transmitted from one point to another point then we said beam of light it is connection or you say group or you say bundle of rays of light connection or bundle or group of rays of light means bundles of rays of light that is carrying energy from one point to another point we say convergent rays means a bundle of rays of light when pass this certain optical medium either mirror plane mirror spherical mirror or a lens after reflection or refraction if a beam of light meet at a single point at a single point you call them as convergent rays of light otherwise we call them as divergent rays means they appear to diverge diverging points diverging light usually we write with a dotted mark with arrow mark a straight line headed with arrow mark straight line bari beka pa arrow mark bari beko yenu ka meaning kodutte there is a light carrying some energy from one point to another point rays of light are bundles of rays of bundles of rays of light after reflection or refraction they appear to come from a single point that kind of rays we call them as divergent rays of light then something we call medium you should optical medium medium which may consist of matter or may not is known as optical medium through which light can propagate and the light can propagate through medium as well as through vacuum optical medium a medium which consist of a matter or a not may not may not may consist of matter or may not is known as optical medium in that we have 
isotropic medium it is an optical medium through which speed of light should remain constant in all the directions best example is we can say here yeah, is an isotropic media water is also an isotropic media and glass at any direction at any point when your light is incident it should travel with the same speed in that medium such a medium is called isotropic mat air to air to glass over mat speed change agutte in for example air media here in that air media at all the points in all the directions speed of light should remain constant such a medium is called isotropic medium otherwise help on you in and the speed do not remain constant in all the directions such a medium is called an is an a medium through which the light is passed speed of light is different in different directions speed constant irala in bare bare direction go there double refraction agibudutte split agibudutte best example double refracting crystals anta bartar calcite crystals anta bartar calcite crystal they are medium is always a, a crystalline in structure crystalline solids can be considered as an isotropic media usually they are crystalline in the shape best example calcite crystal in the thermaline crystal in the best example gothira ninge gothirutte quartz crystal appa itana pa copy marko and the other point here pa important thing is image anta karitare image ne varana another time image anta pa pratibimba anta it is a point of convergence or the point of divergence point at which rays of light after reflection or refraction will converge point at which the rays of light or is a beam of light after reflection or refraction appear to diverge from a point that point of divergence or point of convergence is always known as image but the image and in the but it is the point of convergence or the point of divergence in case of a point of convergence means a image formed at a point by means of convergent rays you must identify that as a real image it is called what about virtual image what is a virtual image and the kerala a image formed by the divergent rays of light that can be seen but you cannot uh, catch it best example the coin is there but near the beaker is there a beaker filled with the uh, water just uh, place uh, some coin into it coin in the color varutala ba side in the road road in the coin in the mail bandha kanisutta that is because of normal shift that normal shift is due to diffraction of light that is one of the effect of light due to refraction of light the object appears to be raised we call them as a normal shift that is because of diffraction of light so when the object appears to be raised mel kanu kanisutala pa nine mel kanthe dentu allo ge object nidili kogu kai sigutha sigala but nodta idiya kanta ide kandi kandi kanistha ide adu and the image you are telling are virtual images virtual images can be seen but cannot be caught whereas real images can be seen and caught 
This is how you can differentiate between real images and virtual images. Okay, my friend. Okay, in the, the optical medium, the medium which consists of matter or may not, we classified them as isotropic and anisotropic medium. When say light propagates, say if I say glass, glass can be taken as a transparent medium, water, clean water, river water, where you can see the bottom surface. Calm, clean, river, water. You can observe air media, air, a pure water, a glass. We call them as transparent medium. A medium through which most of the light is transmitted. Most of the light can propagate, can be transmitted. We call them as a transparent medium. Best example is here glass, pure water. Where light cannot travel at all, completely light is stopped. So, I wouldn't block. A thick cloth, a thick mud, where light cannot pass. A, a, a paper which is coated with a black mark, lamp black, where light cannot be transmitted completely. We call that as opaque. Sorry, opaque. Opaque is a medium or it can say an object through which medium through which light cannot propagate cannot propagate is known as opaque a light can be transmitted partially when light is incident not all the complete light is uh, entering only part of the light is transmitted we call them as a translucent A medium through which light can be transmitted partially, for example, a thin sheet of paper, a thin cotton cloth, thin, very thin cotton cloth through which light can pass easily. Not exact, entire light cannot propagate. A thin glass plate where Partial amount of light can be transmitted is known as a translucent. Just have these ideas in your mind. Nobody will ask you, but you should have that as an introductory part. Now, let us begin with our topic that is a reflection of light.
and there is one more interesting uh, property that you must remember and you must you, you might have known this light is an electromagnetic wave which consists of electric and magnetic field vectors which are transverse in nature light waves are transverse in nature light is an electromagnetic wave which consists of electric and magnetic field vectors which are mutually perpendicular to each other to the direction of a charged particle accelerated charged particle having an accelerated charged particle it is possible to produce time varying electric field and magnetic field vectors if we have an accelerated charged particle it is possible to generate two time varying fields which are regenerating one another means if i have time varying electric field i can generate time varying magnetic field if i have a time varying magnetic field i can generate electric field which are both are perpendicular to each other to the direction of propagation of charge particle and this charge particle move undeflected move in the presence of a perpendicular electric field and a magnetic fields we call that as velocity selector and this electric field vector and magnetic field vectors move such a way that the ratio e divided by p is equal to the speed of light e by b where a is strength of electric field e is strength of electric field b is magnetic field i repeat light is an electromagnetic wave which is a transverse in nature having an accelerated charged particle it is possible to generate two time varying fields one is electric field vector and magnetic field vector which are mutually perpendicular when this electric and magnetic field vectors are mutually perpendicular this charged particle is undeflected we call these electric and magnetic fields are crossed fields of that way and the velocity is called as velocity selector charge particle is undeflected and the velocity selector speed is given by the formula e divided by b that you will study in your moving charges and magnetism where e is electric strength b is magnetic field c is the speed of light and as you know from your uh, electrostatics wherever there is a uh, some electric field you will have one constant 1 upon 4 pi epsilon now and wherever we have some magnetic field there is some constant we call that as u not divided by 4 pi 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not is that constant that you will come across that you will come across electric field mu not by 4 pi that you will study whenever there is existence of a magnetic field when i take this ratio when i take this ratio 1 by 4 pi epsilon not divided by mu not by 4 pi this 4 pi 4 pi cancels what is it now 1 by epsilon not this result accidentally maxwell got this result accidentally when uh, he uh, predicted there is a presence of electric field time varying electric field producing the magnetic field and the, by having time varying magnetic field it is possible to generate electric field he got some result with this value you know epsilon not is permittivity of free space means vacuum mu naught permeability 
of free space. Wherever you deal with magnetic field, you will have constant mu naught by 4 pi permeability constant epsilon naught permittivity constant in free space. It is not check module, it is somewhat equal to the dimensions of speed of light square root 1 divided by epsilon naught mu naught is the part of the dimensional formula that it is same as that of speed of light L t power minus 1 whole square per the simplify maadi nin kelsa yana pa andre ega the speed of light that is c is equal to antakshana you must recall that 1 divided by root of mu naught epsilon naught anta memorize maadi in the free space in free space speed of light speed of light formula is given by 1 divided by square root of mu naught and epsilon naught. Now, the mu naught value both the way to here for the entry 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla meter per ampere and the is equal to insult the unit kind of tesla meter ampere. Sorry. 4 pi 10 raised to minus 7 tesla meter per ampere unit of mu naught epsilon naught at the birthday then you get epsilon naught value is the power 8.854 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square per newton per meter square at the kalti dira mana lehen maada sumna kutti irti yala e value thaga substitute maada square root thaga other value nearest value worth is the power speed of light is about 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second that is in free space atwa vacuum at the barita in vacuum or in free space light travel with a speed of 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second is to idea it could regarding you light. Now coming to this uh, reflection of light. Definition of our previous in my 10th standard you have learnt I, I think you remember something. On certain media in the light pass right. Say some air. If light makes a contact with some surface. Say light is traveling here. I said earlier, you must show with arrow mark, straight line with arrow mark. Light on Krishna for a straight line, carry the ray of light. It carries some energy. Say from, let us say, for right A, B, and further, A to B and third, idea put up there. Light. So, when you straight line, you put up there, you can put up there, and you can put up there, and you can put up there, and you can put up there. Here, x, y, and further, you must say light is traveling from x to y. If the men put over Pratan, even throughout the topic optics, Mujotana, no, whenever you write some uh, straight line with uh, you are saying that it is ray of light, you must write with uh, arrow mark. Then it is carrying some energy. Light is a form of energy. That light energy which is being transmitted from one point to another point in a medium. The young media, the air cocktail, air media. Well, this light is made to fall on certain reflecting surface. Now, by the design material, that is another one. glass plate, that is glass plate, and then cup. This is a glass plate, and then cup. One one surface is free, but that in 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 that surface, that is that that is. Silvering matter with a good quality of material, one surface is completely silvered. And again, I get a silvering portion of the light. This is highly silvered. This is a design matter. Hair cutting matter is even highly silvered. And the top surface in Agatha that acts as a reflecting surface. So whenever a light, this energy is incident on a surface, it is sent back. 
light is sent back into the same medium. This phenomena is known as reflection of light. A light traveling in a medium, through a medium, incident on a surface. A light is sent back into the same medium. Light rebounds. Atwa bouncing back of the light into the same medium is known as reflection of a light. Commonly, this you can identify AB as a reflecting surface you can identify. Let us say A, M, M, C, whatever letter you can, your interest you can give. I just say P, M, R. At the point of incidence, at the point of incidence, a perpendicular line, usually with a dotted mark, usually with a dotted mark, a perpendicular line drawn to the surface at the point of incidence, at the point of incidence, we call that as normal line. That's a normal line. Perpendicular line drawn at the point of incidence is called normal. PM is called incident ray. MR is called reflected ray. No, but let us, it is your convenience. P, make a Q one. P, Q is incident ray. Q, R, reflected ray. A line, perpendicular line drawn at the point of incidence is called normal. Get ya? Angle between the normal and the incident ray is called angle of incidence. The angle between reflected ray and the normal is called angle of reflection. You should measure that with respect to normal, not with the surface. Then put it The angle of incidence bari. And right, you have to write I between incident ray and the normal. Reflected ray, reflect, refract, reflect, sorry, refraction on that, reflected ray and the normal. The angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called angle of a reflection. The phenomenon by which light is sent back into the same medium is known as reflection of light. PQ is incident ray. QR is reflected ray. A perpendicular line drawn at the point of incidence is called normal. Angle between the incident ray and the normal is called angle of incidence. The angle between reflected ray and the normal is called angle of reflection. Basic definition of I work. angle of angle. In the angle of incidence. Next, here it is. R. M, Q, R. 
angle NQR. Can I put up by the can? Angle of reflection. Copy my copy this stuff.